Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's your buddy Mikey here, cruising into La Jolla. Again, back to back days, just past 7 a.m. on Wednesday, April 20th, 2022. On that hunt for yellowtail and maybe white sea bass. Halibut always in the mix. You never know what you're gonna get out here. Oh no, we got a sand dog. Surf's pumping again. Dang, we got a lot of kayakers. We got the whole crew. Oh, someone flipped. Ooh. Yeah, he just flipped right there. I don't know. I think I'm going to go to Mission Beach. That's the beauty about having the solo skiff. Is I can go to Mission Beach and launch at Mission Beach. I'm going to fly the drone right now. Check it out. I know. I, I'm about to go drive down to Mission Beach and launch out. I was here yesterday. My transducer ripped off and like... I didn't even get out yesterday. It was sketchy and it's not much better today. Oh, are you are you going back out today? And then I just saw who flipped right here. One of our boys. Oh, boy. Dude, did you see what happened? I just there pulled was, up. Uh, he was getting pushed straight. He went hit the wave head on. The wave said, nope. Ooh, That's like what happened to you. <laughs> you were, uh, I was way bigger. Like, oh. Yeah, yours like broke on top. No, that's what happened yesterday. I had waves breaking on top of me. And then all of a sudden I looked down. This is just ripped off. Oh, I'm shit. like, this is God. not the day. Damn. And then I come back. I'm about to go drive down to Mission Beach. Dude, I'm I don't know if it's worth it. What's up, bro? Dude, finally here. meeting you, man. Yeah. 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 Right yeah. on, I'm like, it's like, it's you time it, bro. It's like there's some flat. No, you're right. You, if you, you thought there was a guy on a kayak, patient. yeah, no, there was a guy that made it out on a on an outback before me. Yeah, they made it out. I'll make it out. Yeah, I know, but then look at this right here. No, I know. Then you just No, I know. This is what got. It's a short, short window. That's he just got hit on that kayak too. Yep. Dang, what happened? Why <laughs> force it? I know. You know what I mean? That, that's what I made the call yesterday. It's not worth it to me. And I got I'm too much riding is, on the line with all that stuff. Well, and the thing I'm worried about is like, I don't know how often he's launched. I know he hasn't launched very much. And coming in with I'm Big Sur and back to lot. back. This is, a, this is pretty big. Yeah, oh, I know. That's why yeah, I'm not going to do it. I was here yesterday, too. And, it's, not, it's not the size. It's the, uh, it's frequency. the interval. Yeah, uh, you, you wait. How long did you wait to launch? A oh, long time. Oh. Wow. Yeah. yeah. As soon as he started to go, up? two of them rose up. Whoop. Oh yeah. I know. That's I was talking like, to him. I'm shit. like, dude, as long as he takes it head on, he should be good. And he was like. And it went I was like, like head on. Whoop. I was like, oh, way up. Like, like, like this. I'm like, and then I'm boom. like, paddle, paddle, paddle. And he took it directly right. on, like, and it low. picked up his nose and just pushed him all the yeah. way back. Like, come on with me, buddy. And I believe <laughs> there was a second one right behind it, who, like caught up and just. Yeah, but not for the. I mean, yeah, you like, got it right, right there. Now. You're good. Like yeah. you launch out, you got one coming. As long as you boogie, you're gonna get past that. Oh yeah, wait, where? What'd you do? Sabiki to the arm? And then what? His rot. Your rod holder broke, or you just... Oh, the rod broke. The part of the rod broke. The rod's still fine, it's the butt broke. Oh, dang. Damn! The whole thing's too go. It's like a sawed-off shotgun. Bam! Yeah, it still works. In you go. Oh, here we go. Let's get this on film. I know, I'm gonna go.
the surf is just pumping behind him as, as he walks out. See, that's not worth it to me at all. Well, you got me and Mikey <laughs> second guessing going out. Maybe you should I too. I don't know. This isn't <laughs> one, worth it. Here comes it's a the lot interval. of surf. And the intervals, bro. The intervals is just one after another after another. No. And like I said, going out, bro, it's like you can make it happen. You can figure it out and make going out. But coming in after it gets bigger, you're going to be gonna be toying with, well, as they say in Japan. Oh, here you go. He's going to get it. Good luck to you. But we'll see. It looks like he oh, might well, have I the shot. Coming. I see one coming. Oh, now the question is, is he tall enough to jump? All right, it's 8 o'clock now at the launch. Oh, here we go. First sticker on the yak. Grab that to the Hobie. Yeah, brother, looking good. First sticker. <laughs> Thanks, bro. That's gonna be the man I All right. That's it, that's all for La Jolla today. I'm gonna go make my way over to Mission Beach, launch out of there, and then maybe motor up here to La Jolla. We'll see how bad the wind comes up, but surf was too big today shutting people everybody down lost reels how many i think i think six six rods and reels got taken a couple people made it out a couple people flipped it's all good let's go get it mission bay it's about nine o'clock here we are rolling into ski beach mission bay now surf was too big in la jolla let's get launched out here Show time at the launch. Like I was saying before, we got shut down La Jolla earlier today due to big surf. Saw some kayakers get flipped out there. They lost some rods and reels. Saw some other people make it out too, but it's just too risky for me right now. I got too much into the solo skiff and my setups and everything going on right now. That I'm gonna go ahead and launch out of Mission Bay here make my way outside. And the name of the game today is gonna to be some bottom fishing, some rock fishing. I got some squid, maybe I'll make some mackerel, but mostly fish the squid on a drop shot or on the flat fall or on the iron chunks of squid, somehow get it down to the bottom and then see what we can pull up some rock fish. I've gotten halibut out of there before. I've heard about yellowtail and white sea bass. You never really know. So before you get in the rest of the video, make sure you smash that subscribe, pound that like, show love and support. Thank you for all love and support. But the name of the game right now is to get out there and get fishing before the wind kicks in. It's supposed to kick up pretty heavy by 11 o'clock. So it's about nine o'clock right now. I'll get a couple hours. High tide is at one o'clock. And then I got a premiere tonight at seven. So thank you all for watching. Love and support, living the dream here. Fishing hard, fish hard. Troll hard, love life, let's get it. Man, I'm motoring out of Mission Bay right now. The winds are, I'm already feeling the wind. It's gonna be a short day today because of these springtime winds. nice so I'm making my way out of the bay and it's looking pretty flat and glassy and nice out here so hopefully I get in a couple hours I could try to go out to La Jolla but I just have a feeling the winds are gonna be whipping later and it takes about it's another half hour at least 45 minutes from here to get out to La Jolla about to clear that five mile an hour zone there it is, time to smash. I'm not gonna stand up, so I don't need the tiller. Another beautiful day here in San Diego. Oh, it is, uh, there's definitely some lumps, some waves, some water. 
rollers coming through the jetty here. Nothing too bad, I just gotta slow down if anything gets too crazy. Little roller, we got the Cobia coming out also at the same time. We got a bunch of these waves coming from the Cobia. to the north and we're gonna fish in between all right first things first I'm gonna get my fish finder turned on so I can find the spot that I want to go to and then I'm gonna get my rig tied up get my squid ready the summit gas Joe special I saw Joe driving on the road he's rocking the sticker it's cool giving everybody else stickers also as i'm seeing them all you awesome people that are coming up to me saying what's up you guys way to get a sticker because i'm lagging on sending the merch I'm, i apologize to everybody about not getting the hats and the stickers out mailing them out i gotta get better at that okay so i got my squid ready my fish finder turned on, make my way out. And I'm gonna get my set up. So I'm gonna put the flat fall with some squid chunks on this one right here, the SX. Getting out of here closer to the zone. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab the lures that I wanna use. And then I got my flat fall, my master baits heavy flat fall with the two assist hooks. I like to put a piece of squid on each one of these assist hooks here and drop that down. And then I got a double tube bait. I found this cool little rig to keep fishing lines on. I got the double tube bait on the three-way swivel and I got a dropper loop. So I'm gonna put those on. After I put this stuff away, my dropper loop, got a six and a half ounce weight right here. Ready to go, I'm gonna take my lure. I've been using, I got the Avid SX MC, it's the Magic Cash edition on this 50 to 100 pound Shimano Talius rod. I have this all with green braid, 80 pound green braid to uh, 150 pound barrel swivel. I have that with 50 pound mono leader to one of these clips here. So I'm gonna take this guy off. I'm gonna put this guy on. And then I'll put the squid on this and drop that down for some bottom fish. So we gotta find the spot first that we're gonna fish at. We'll go a little bit deeper. And then once I start fishing, then I'll get my dropper loop. My other stuff going. I'm starting to see some marks here on the bottom, some dots. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a shot. I'm gonna go heavy, big right off the bat with two whole squid. I'm not even gonna mess around with chunks. We're going for the big boys. Whole squid. Seeing some nice marks. No nibbles. Move to a different spot. Keep dropping until I get some nibbles at least. There goes Legacy Whale Watching Boat. As I just switched, I took off the flat fall I was using because I lost one of the hooks caught on the bottom. I think it's old rope I have, old hooks on here. So I'm not gonna use that. I tied on a drop shot instead with this beaked hook. And then I got my six ounce weight. So I'll just put a whole squid and drop it down this way.
It seems like there's a lot of marks down there. But I'm not getting any bites, any nibbles. Let's see if that changes right here. Okay, got a fish. Let's see what it is. Feels pretty small, but finally got a bite. Been a couple hours. Oh, nice. A little red. If there's one here, there's more. Nice. Five is the limit. Little baby verm. Gonna drop back down. Go back towards the area that I just drifted. I'm drifting to the north right now. That's good though. Sweet. One out of ten. Oh, that drop shot. I put the same piece of squid down there. Oh man, I thought I was getting big good and I'm just stuck on the bottom. Hopefully I got my rig back. And I just lost the weight. Yep. Oh, look at that. Grab another weight. Looks like a good area that I'm at here. I got I got some hits before I got caught. I probably have like six or seven more pieces of squid. Finally getting some bites. Just took the head off my squid. I'm gonna go put a fresh one down. Seems like there's fish in this area. I got maybe five or six pieces of squid left. It'd be nice to catch one more rockfish before we take off. 130, geez. Slow day. Grinding. It's all good. Out here fishing. Can't complain. Well, that was stupid. Just got caught in my motor. That's gonna end me for the day. Ah, oh, jeez. I'm not even gonna mess with it. I'm just gonna cut it. And we're coming across a good spot right now too. Okay, that's gonna do it for out here. So, came out and it's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be with the wind, maybe because I'm just right here by the entrance and I brought my squid. That's what I have left. Dropping down the squid to the bottom and all I was able to manage was one small red rockfish that I'll do a catch clean cook. I'm gonna fry it whole in some coconut oil. So thank you all for watching. If you haven't already, smash that subscribe, pound that like. Thank you for all love and support. We're gonna call it a day and make our way back in. Thank you for watching. Mikey here, SD Fishing Sips. Rockfish in the bottom, scratching out one fish. All good, living the dream. I'm out here fishing, thank you. That's all. Put away my stuff. Call it good. All right, here I am back in the yard at the fillet table with my red vermilion rockfish that I caught off my solo skiff on that whole dead squid on the drop shot. 
I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing prepared for cooking it whole by cutting out the gills, the guts, and descaling it with this uh, fish scaler right here. Okay, now that I got it all cleaned and scaled, you can see all the scales are off of it. The guts are out of it. The gills are off. I'm gonna put olive oil on the foil and then I'll stuff this with ginger, onion, lemon, and put it in the oven 375 for 20 minutes. It's been 20 minutes, time to pull this bad boy out. See what's going on. See it. Here's the whole baked rock fish in the pouch with the lemons, the ginger, and the onion. Look at that eyeball going crazy. And I made a little show you green onion topping right here. It's coming off the bone. Mm. Oh yeah, 